Well, it is Thanksgiving Day, and I just got a phone call from my brother. He is 95% sure he just flung an arrow at the deer I shot on October the 7th. It's the deer he's been hunting all season, uh, although he's only made it out probably half a dozen times. Um, he's not sure about the shot. The deer took off hard, just like it did when I shot it. Um, but he's hunting out of a permanent stand. It's a bank blind. Um, he said he got a shot out the window. He had to shoot from an unlevel position with the crossbow. And he is not sure if he even hit the deer. So we're hoping for the best. We're hoping to find blood and a bolt. It's all bloody. Uh, hopefully we come back with a dead deer. But we shall see. Um, Give you an update once we're looking. What's the story? So there I was. <laughs> now I come over here because I've seen some more deer coming and I thought, well, that's some chance maybe one of them. They were two small bucks. No, there was three does over here. I didn't see the bucks oh. until you come down. Yeah. There's no buck. There's no oh, you're going to go over here. There's no trail or not. Uh, I never, I, I think I missed. Looks like, uh, I might hit through here. I might have hit some small limbs that I didn't see at the time. He was standing right here. Who? Oh, he was here? He was standing right here. Okay. See, I shot out that left window, but there's a couple little branches that the arrow could have hit. Let's see. I need to ch trim them things down. Well, we'll turn the camera off and we'll start looking hard. Well, we can't find the bolt. Uh, we know where he was standing when he shot, but we can't find the bolt. But we also can't find any blood. We've been looking for a while now. And, uh, no joy. Uh, we're just kind of walking out the general direction he went here. Um, and we're gonna see if we can find him. And, uh, or blood. Or anything, any trace. And, we're gonna see, we're gonna look at creek crossings up here. He probably, he had to cross the creek somewhere to continue on in the timber. Um, unless he went through his yard, which is possible. Um, so, we're gonna keep searching. I'd say to either go, go in the creek here or go up this path. But I don't, it don't even look like there's fresh tracks here going that way. You know, there'd be deep mud spots in the sink. If I had to guess, he probably went out the other way, huh? Right. this is his yard in case you're wondering but yeah this is pretty much the same area the buck went to when I shot it so we'll see I'm gonna keep looking here and see what we can come up with We've reached the end of the property. No sign of a body or blood or bolt. We've probably gone 200, 250 at least, 100 yards. Um, pretty bleak. This deer has nine lives. Better luck next time. Denver's full of shit. What'd you tell me last time when I was tracking it for me? Better times? luck next time? Exactly. I already said that. Better luck next time. <laughs> I guess we're calling the search off. So.
gun season starts in four days. How many times have you been hunting there? Uh, well, I guess twice out of that uh, so three behind times. the house, and this is the first time in the woods. Three times. <laughs> Put a lot of time in, as you can see. Maybe three times over there. I don't remember. Could be the fourth. So, chapter two of this deer ended much like the first. Well, middle somewhat like the first. We don't we don't know the ending. We don't know if he's still alive or dead or hit or not. Um, I don't know. Bad thing about it is we don't know. And you don't know what you don't know, so it is what it is. Farmer's job never ends. <laughs> That's the truth. Well, <laughs> hey honey. I know, baby girl. I'll take you home here in a second. Well, the plot is thick, and it is the 29th of November, Friday before gun season. I've got a crying baby in the back seat, and uh, I got a phone call from one of the neighbors that hunt around the area here. So there's a really nice buck on our property. So, being that I've been watching a crying baby all day, I decided to put her in a car and come out here at dark and uh, glass it up, see if it was still here. It is, and it 100% is the buck that I shot on October the 7th. You can see the crook in his uh, left G3, and uh, my brother thinks he shot him two days ago. Or no, yesterday. Thanksgiving morning, he thought he shot at him. So, um, he has no, like, video or photo evidence, but he was pretty sure it was him, and there was no reason for that deer to leave his property, so, until yesterday. So, he's over here on our property now. Um, I'm no doubt betting in the neighbors, who has a lot of CRP. And I just kind of kicked him out of here because I was on the phone with the window down and baby crying. And I didn't kick him out, but they they turned back towards the fence road. Just kind of ran off. They do that all the time. They'll be back out in five minutes. But, I mean, there's still 20 deer, 30 deer in this field. So, so I got to get uh, Eva home. It's been two weeks since I've hung up my bow following a bad shot. There has been no sign of the deer I hit. I once again have a renewed hope of tagging this buck that my family is quickly building a history with. Gun season opens in three days, and the buck is once again within my grasp.